Hi, I'm Maria Langer, and I am flying the helicopter uh, that is taking this video. Um, I released some more video from this particular flight um, last week, and I thought I would add some to it, and this time I would do it with some narration. So you should still be able to hear the helicopter in the background, uh, but you'll also hear me talking, describing some of the stuff that we're seeing. So right now I am uh, in the mountains just to the, I guess it would be the east of the Wenatchee River. This road that you're seeing in front of us is uh, Route 97, which is the road that goes up to uh, Blewett Pass. Uh, that's a major roadway between uh, the Wenatchee area and the Seattle area. Uh, there's two ways to get to uh, Wenatchee from Seattle, and one of them is Blewett Pass. Uh, so that was um, the road to Blewett Pass, and now we're back in the mountains. The purpose of this flight was to find elk. I had two hunters on board and they are allowed to use aircraft to uh, look to scout for elk uh, as long as they wait 24 hours before they actually start hunting. I'm a little bit further along in this area. I've got cuts in this video so that it wouldn't just be long, uh, boring stretches. And what I wanted to show here is that this area is forested. In other words, they come in here and they, uh, they cut down trees and they take them away. Uh, the little roads that you see in here are for logging, and these roads are um, cut in, and that's how they take the, uh, the trees out. Um, most of the stuff cannot be seen uh, from regular roads. Um, right now we're coming up on, I think it's called Camas Meadow. Um, that's where you see the fog over kind of on the right-hand side. Uh, they wanted to scout in there for elk, uh, but of course the fog made that impossible. Uh, so instead, we're going to be going off to the, um, to the left there, more forested area um, that you can see there, and beyond. And we actually do find some herds of elk over there, but since none of them actually appear in the camera and there's a lot of maneuvering, I didn't include that in this video. You can see that there are some homes up here. People do live up in the hills here. And this, again, area is forested here, and then off in the middle of the picture, kind of higher, uh, there's some more forested. Close up of the forested area, we have just uh, seen some elk and then uh, we're leaving the area. The elk are going to be on either side of the aircraft. The, the camera is pointing out the front. Um, so in most cases, I don't have any footage of elk. Although uh, later in the afternoon, uh, later in the morning actually, I do get some and I'll put that in another video. So now we're coming around. You can see Camas Meadow again on the right. Off in the distance on the horizon, you might be able to spot um, Glacier Peak. There's more fog in the valleys up there. It was a gorgeous morning. And then over here in the center of the picture, I want you to see those rows of trees. That's where the companies that own the forest put the trees back. And these have been growing, boy, it looks to me like it's been at least 10 years since they were planted. But you can always tell where they put the trees back in because they're almost always in rows. So again, Camas Meadow here, and now we are pointing uh, kind of north. You can see that the sun is over to the, to the left. It's an early morning uh, time. It's probably around 7.30 a.m. here. Uh, this was all shot in uh, September, um, a couple weeks ago. So we're coming over this hill, and then you'll see the valley down to uh, the Wenatchee River Valley. Quick shot of that. So now we're flying back uh, east. You can see the, the sun is almost dead center. This is pretty much the middle of September, so we're flying almost due east here. Uh, we're going down a valley, and uh, they're just looking out both sides to see if we can see any elk. Really nothing much going on here, but I really like the way the sun hit the sides of those hills. And now we're turning back towards the uh, south going back towards uh, Jump Off Ridge, which is the ridge that you see in the distance there. And there's some places out there that they want to look for elk. So we're headed out there. And uh, then again, this is, um, I think again that this is the road up to Blewett Pass. Now we're much closer to Wenatchee. You can see it over on the left. You can see the Columbia River winding down uh, towards Oregon. And uh, we're up in the hills to the west of Wenatchee. And I want to point out something else here is I do not have a minimum altitude. Helicopters do not have a minimum altitude 
uh, in the United States. Uh, so I can go as low as I want to go. Now there's no homes up here in the hills, so I'm not bothering anybody up here. And um, we're just motoring from one spot to another. I know it doesn't look like it, but we're probably doing about 110 knots or uh, maybe close to 130, 140 miles an hour here. Um, and probably with a little bit of a tailwind, if I remember correctly. All these little canyons you see coming up, they all come up from Wenatchee, and most of them dead end. Uh, one of the canyons uh, does have a road uh, that goes up through the forest and comes down in, into Kashmir. You need kind of high clearance to, to drive that road. Um, there's a lot of homes in the roads. They have, um, the canyons have names. Uh, number one canyon, number two canyon, not very creative, but it, but it does work. And I would tell you which one is which, except I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, but these are number one and number two canyons. This one might be number one. Again, I don't want to get it wrong. Um, so I'm sure somebody will correct me. Uh, what I liked best about this footage was the lighting along the tops of the hillsides. And that's the main reason why I included it here. Now we're a little bit further along. Um, not much further, maybe, maybe three or four minutes along. And uh, we're flying again still uh, west of Wenatchee. Uh, maybe a little to the southwest now. And uh, this is Pitcher Canyon. I'm almost positive of that. Pitcher Canyon is a side canyon off of Squilchuck. And when we get over this little ridge, you'll see Squilchuck Canyon. If you watched my geology uh, videos with Nick Zentner, uh, the second video I did with him, we fly right down Squilchuck Canyon, which again is the canyon right in front of us. So um, if if you could see us flying, we'd be flying from the left to the right, right down this canyon. And then what you're seeing here off to the side is orchards. Um, there's one kind of a terrible looking one off to the bottom corner there that we're just passing. And then ahead of us and up the canyon and every, basically anywhere you see rows of trees, uh, these are all orchards. And the majority of these orchards are cherries. This land in front of us is called uh, Wenatchee Heights. You can see the road to get up to Wenatchee Heights. There's only two ways to get up there. This is the way from Wenatchee, or Wenatchee Heights Road. Makes sense. And mostly cherry orchards up here, and uh, almost all of them pack for a company called Stemilt. Stemilt is the biggest packer of cherries uh, in this area. If you eat cherries in the summertime and they come from Wenatchee, um, there's a pretty good chance that they come from one of these orchards that come out of um, Wenatchee Heights come out of Stemilt. You can see the pattern of the water on the pond. I'm just getting off the picture here on the right. There's a little bit of wind, just enough wind to get that water disturbed. Now I've included this uh, segment of the video. This is the longest segment of the video uh, because mostly I liked the light as we were flying. But then as I, I got further along in this video, um, you know, reviewing it before I made this, this cuts, um, I realized that I do some pretty good maneuvering here, and uh, the maneuvering is inside of a canyon, so I thought I would include that as well. And it's just coming up in a moment here. Uh, what has happened is that the uh, one of the passengers has spotted a herd of elk, and they want to investigate it uh, more closely. So my job is to get them down by that herd of elk, and that herd is going to be down in a canyon I've just passed. So now I'm making an aggressive, um, right hand turn obviously I've got a pretty good bank angle going and at the same time I'm descending you should hear a change in the engine you might have heard it already um, it's turned off while I do my narration here and the, the elk is in this canyon this very small canyon right in front of us so what I need to do is I need to maneuver to get one or both I can't get both sides down um, I got one guy sitting behind me one guy sitting next to me so I've got guys on both sides they can't both have it on their side at the same time unless we're over them and I don't fly over the elk if I can help it. Uh, so I'm getting down here and I'm, I suspect that at this point in my maneuvering that the elk are on the right hand side. And you can see I've descended down into the canyon. I'm almost, um, I'm probably doing maybe 20 knots here. I'm making aggressive pedal turns just to get that elk where they can see it. So while I'm doing this flying, um, I've got to keep an eye out for the terrain. I've got to make sure that I don't hit anything, obviously. Um, I'm pretty low here. I'm probably, um, at some of these hillsides I'm going over, I might be as close as 100 feet. Um, this camera has a pretty wide angle, so it exaggerates the distances. 
and again I'm going back and forth and at this point it's probably the elk are probably now on the left hand side they're down in this canyon and I really really pretty view here um, and I really remember they got very excited because the elk apparently was really big um, but they can't just start shooting they can't just you know let me you know let me out let me go shoot them none of that they've got to wait 24 hours and I can tell you that later on in the day we came back to the same spot and we could not find those elk. Uh, so the, the, it might seem like the hunters have a, an edge here. Um, they have a tiny edge, uh, but the elk move. And we came back and we looked in this canyon and we could not find them later in the day. So at this point they're satisfied with what they've seen and they're telling me continue on your way. So I do a nose down to gather some speed and I'm accelerating up and then I'm eventually going to go over that ridge. Um, but I'm going to save that stuff for another video. At this point, I'd like to thank you for watching. And um, I want to thank the subscribers and especially the channel members who help make some of these videos possible. Um, the money that they contribute to my channel makes it possible for me to get cameras that can get beautiful footage like this. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you click that subscribe button. And I hope that you will click the bell and get notifications of new content. And if you uh, want to support the channel even more, I hope you uh, consider becoming a member and uh, or at least buy yourself a hat or a t-shirt to uh, get some uh, revenue in from merchandise. Thanks again for watching and uh, keep tuning in for more videos like this one, cockpit point of view, and also uh, some inside look at uh, how helicopters work. Thanks. Bye.